What up? This is your boy Chris with the next. And today's video is just about masculinity. Now, um, I don't know what this culture is obsessed with gender roles and, you know, what does it take to be masculine? You know, it's not about what you look like. It's about how you carry yourself and what you do when you gotta do what you gotta do. Because a lot of people who you think is stereotypical, masculine, is really not, you know, because they're acting and they're putting up a front. You know, if you are something, then you don't really have to act it. You know, like with me, you know, I do things in this video or in my videos because you know I just feel that we need to stop letting people tell us the way we need to live our lives and how we need to act and how we need to present ourselves especially as a black man I have a lot of people telling me that I should be a nigga that I should act you know niggas you know so what so I can get shot by the cops hell no you know, long hair, it's like I was saying, masculinity doesn't define what you look like, it defines what's inside of you. You know, a lot of people can say what they want, but no one knows you like you and the people that love you. You know, it's a lot of people who are the masculinity police, and you know, that refines um, gender roles because no one says anything when a woman puts on a man's hat or coat or anything. She's cool for that. Once a man does something, you know, like a woman, then you know it's all, uh, you know, you gotta be masculine. You gotta you, you look like a bitch, you look like this and that. So that shows a lot of hatred for women. Because women really hold it down. Like and I was saying, you know, you just gotta do you. Because a lot of people, they always gonna have something to say. So if you feel like you, um, just people commenting and saying, you know, dumb stuff. And just let them. Uh, you gotta knock somebody out. Knock them out. Because I'm not saying violence solves everything. Sometimes it doesn't solve anything. But in some instances, just some instances, it does, you know, get people to shut up. You know. It doesn't really matter what you do. You can get a manicure. You can color your hair, you can listen to a Justin Bieber album, you can do whatever, you, you can do all of that. None of that determines your manhood or how are you a man, you know. But again, we still have people's minds set in 1950 and not 2015, you know. You know, that's just my two cents on it. People always say what they want, but when they get it, they don't know. No, it goes for both communities. The straight community, which is I am in, LGBT, any community. It's just this whole thing about masculinity. And if you do this, then you automatically, you know, a woman or gay or whatever. It's the stupidest shit, you know. I got a curly blonde wig on right now. Does that make me any less of a man? No, it doesn't. Because if somebody get up in my face, then I'm, I'm going to place hands, you know. Because I've told you, you'd be time before. I do this just because I want people to be themselves and I want them to do what they want to do. Now, my videos don't get a lot of views or watches because don't nobody want to hear the truth. My videos do not consist of fakery or... I mean, I do like entertainment, but it doesn't consist of um, how my life is every day. Look at me buy this. Or stuff like, um, you know how other YouTubers do. I spit truth and I spit realness. Then that's what I'm going to do. And if I stop doing that, I'm going to stop doing videos. Anyways, any comments, current concerns, questions, leave them in the section below. Like, share, and subscribe. This has been your boy Chris with the next. Peace.